Hall on opposite sidelines when Virginia played BYU. The circle of life is now complete. It's half of the tribe's season total from last year. Mathis running right side and devoured behind the line of scrimmage. Some NFL talent on that side of the ball. It can't go-go if you're behind the chains and you're not getting first downs. Mathis will take off. He's slippery. He's got some speed. Takes it across the 30. And a couple of yards shy of the marker. It brings up fourth down. Cowley, the tight end, motions. Perkins finding Hasis Dubois for a first down. Perkins again to the air. Finds Chris Sharp out of the backfield. Sharp had a touchdown catch last week, the fifth year senior. Perkins again to the air. Plenty of time, takes a shot downfield. Has Reed who makes the catch. Marked out of bounds at the one yard line, Joe Reed. And this is where he can be deadly because he's a threat to run. So watch the defense. They've got to, they've got to make sure that they are respecting that threat. And Joe Reed is the guy on the outside edge that, and how scared you are. <laughs> Little misdirection. And Burdick makes the catch in Virginia territory. Kane Everson, the freshman, this could be four down territory. Mathis will keep straight up the middle first down. Virginia anticipated in what, from what we've seen on film. Just making sure they get their freshman quarterback into the right play. Here's the blitz. Mathis throws, intercepted. Nick Grant comes up with the INT. Grant has a convoy. One man to beat. Nick Grant with a house call. Wasn't even paying attention. Great job for Mathis to send tall in the pocket. And that's where the wide receiver has to know that that's going to be a hot route coming out. But give Virginia credit, and especially Nick Grant. They picked on him last week at Pittsburgh. Head receivers coach at Tulsa was Mike Norvell. And a lot of those Malzahn principles are in play. But the formations and the looks and the motions, that's where he put his own twist on this. Then found his way to Tulsa. Dean's List, All-American. Mathis scrambling and sacked. And it'll bring up fourth down. Two return men for Virginia, Kemp and Davis. And Billy Kemp the fourth. Turns the corner at the 40. Full head of steam. And out of bounds in tribe territory. Head to the Manny Diaz firing on the ride home from the plane. I'm sure there'll be a little extra motivation there for Diaz. Perkins over to Kelly. Breaks one tackle. Nowhere to go. And trapped back at the 46-yard line of Virginia. A loss of eight. Virginia was excellent on third down a season ago. 49%. Perkins threads the needle to Dubois. And Virginia able to convert on third and long. P.K. Kyer gets the call, bounces to the outside, using the stiff arm. Kyer, full head of steam inside the 10. First and goal, Virginia. Therefore, the tribe needs all in the backfield, forces him to go outside. I think they were trying to get that ball as an inside run. Cowley in motion. On first and goal, Perkins keeps it. Perkins, touchdown! Really smooth athlete here. That's all you can say. I mean, nice play fake, holds it in. There's that unique formation you rarely see. Mathis. And his intended target well covered by Bryce Hall, but we do get a flag. It was just really fun to listen to. He's, he's a college kid practicing and playing like a pro. Look out, Mathis thrown to the ground. Jordan Mack, third and long for the Tribe. Mathis flushed, running for his life. He may have been able to get away with that last week against Lafayette. 
not against the top 20 defense that returns a ton of star power. A line drive kick. Kemp has the 40 and accelerates toward midfield. Perkins emerges from the scrum. Gets a block downfield by his roommate Chapman. And Perkins takes it to the 30-yard line of first down. You'll see it here at the left of your screen. Number 90, Kylie, doing a great job. Four-man rush. Perkins finds Kemp. And he's spun down at the 15, a gain of 15. Provide that opportunity to thin out that box so they can get into their running running package. Already seeing some hands on hips from the defense. Perkins, plenty of time. End zone! Touchdown, Chapman! They started together at Arizona State. They'll finish together at Virginia. Just great. I mean, his eyes are great. He moves to safety with his eyes. Moves right up into this throw, very comfortable in the pocket, and put that ball. And they've just done a great job. And they've also been clean in the penalty area, where they struggled tremendously a season ago. The Tribe will run this out. Yoder with a nice return for William and Mary. Come on, coach. <laughs> Nacho Libre, coach. That was Oscar worthy, I guess. That was not. Nick Grant in the backfield. D set, third and long. Virginia will rush four. Mathis runs. And taken down right at the original line of scrimmage. Zane Zandier again. Kemp and Davis, the deep men for Virginia. Will Michaels punt, a good one. Muffed. Balls on the ground. Who has it? The Tribe come up with it. And William and Mary has its best scoring chance. Trey Watkins recovers the muffed punch. I mean, really just fought for this ball at the end of the play. It looks like it might have been recovered there. No, that's, that was a clean recovery. Bringing out their other quarterback, Kelton, Kelton Anderson. Anderson will hand it off to Mathis. They tried to flip it back to Ted Hefter. Hayf is out, Virginia all over it. Look, this defense, and I, that's, that was a brilliant play. I mean, he just read the football and reacted. Outstanding play here from the defense. Great form tackle. Offenses are more likely to run those gadget plays when that happens. Mathis. Looking long, incomplete in the direction of Lowry. 40-yard attempt by Jake Johnston. Three of four last week, his career long, 35. And the kick is good, and William and Mary on the board. Your fans know the story well. Had a gun pulled on him, and when the trigger was pressed, the gun did not fire. He donated bone marrow to save his daughter Tyson's life. Tyson now 16 years removed from the bone marrow donation. Joe Reed busting a big return, and Reed galloping down the sideline. Touchdown, Virginia. The fourth career kick return touchdown for Joe Reed. And like I said, seeing him up close and personal with this type of burst and speed, he's also very powerful. And excellent vision here and then the burst there at the end to totally destroy the coverage there from the tribe. And London brought Brennan Marion in this go-go offense to jumpstart an offense that was the worst in the Colonial a year ago. And they're struggling tonight. A lot of that is because of the personnel on the opposite side. They won't see a defense like this all year. To mention, in these third and long situations where they have the ability to bring the house. Hollis Mathis will keep it. And nothing there. Michael will punt. Kemp.
wrestle down at about the 42. Perkins will run. Makes his way out to about the original line of scrimmage. His eyes downfield and still connect with his wide receivers. Here's the blitz. It's picked up. Perkins with time has a receiver. Terrell Jenna. While watching videos on YouTube. It's a great route. Does a nice job of getting inside leverage and then completing the catch. Perkins moves the pocket. Steps, throws, picked off. Miles Hayes comes up with that second turnover for Virginia. And the drive and get it back just shy of their own 20. At 145 pass attempts, the try with a takeaway. And now with the ball. And just his second career game at this level. And facing one of the best defenses in the country. Mathis. Met by Jordan Mack, who lassos him to the ground, fourth down. <laughs> Fair catch signaled for and made at the 43. Reed in motion. It comes to Reed. Two touchdowns already today. Can't get out of the backfield that time. On third down. Perkins steps up, gets a block, and has a first down inside the Tribe 40, 17 for Bryce Perkins. Which forces him to get inside as Virginia calls a timeout, but this is where he's so dynamic. 42 seconds on the clock, Perkins to Dubois, and Dubois, did he get out of bounds? No, he did not. <laughs> You want to convert here, get a fresh set of downs and score. On third down, complete to Reed. Reed stopped short of the marker. The clock will continue to run. Virginia's going to have to use its final timeout. A 30-yard attempt for Delaney. Three out of four last week. And it's no good. Atkins, able to move the chains. Chris, sharp motions out, empty set. Perkins, over the middle, John. To the 45 of William and Mary, Terrell Jana Jr. Plenty of options on second and short. Perkins to the air, has Reed in space. And Joe Reed forced out of bounds at the 20, a gain of 16. the middle and that is Kyer 10 yards for the fashionista to move the chain a uh, peacock is in the ball game at 245 Mike Hollins in there as well and Mike Hollins rumbles into the end zone for his first collegiate score the freshman from Baton Rouge this was just a wonderful drive. Tim plays 70 yards and now this will help the average. Math is taken down for a loss. Charles Snowden, big 6'7 junior. On third and long. Pressure. Math is sandwiched. <laughs> Landmines all over the place here with a six-man pressure. You know, it, it, this is this is one of those ones you just feel sorry for a freshman being put in this type of situation with an offensive line that's trying to discover their identity, a team that's trying to discover their identity. Waits near midfield. Directional kick near the 40 camp and out of bounds after a 43-yard punt. You know, especially considering you're nearly up by 40 points. If you're Bronco Mendenhall, you just wanted to see your offense come back out here and get in a rhythm. Perkins on the move. Intercepted. 
here's the worst part about being athletic, okay? His first interception, he's rolling to his right. He tries to throw across to his body, back to his right. This time here, he's rolling right, tries to throw back to his left. That time there, it was a poor pass and a poor decision. Kilton Anderson, grad transfer from Coastal Carolina, in a quarterback, and he finds Burdick downfield near the 10-yard line. Also, first year of a new system for this team. Thunderberg ambushed, third down. And this third down stop would also be another key stop for them in the ballgame. Too high in the direction of Amanye Watson. On hill running approach, they'll start to get in more of the athletes that they like for this system. But I do think this offense is, is innovative, and I think it's very dangerous. No good. But just know what it's like and then still be able to maintain your red shirt year. I love the rule. Slings one to Kemp. On the tunnel screen. And Virginia moves the chains. The only one you could go to is is a, a school like Central Florida that went from winless to undefeated, but this ascension has been fast and proper. Armstrong hit, intercepted. Armand Jones. And William and Mary has its first touchdown. On the QB. And these takeaways, you know, this is the type of confidence you need. And, and, and four turnovers tonight for Virginia, based on the way they played defense, one of the top defensive units a season ago, with six returners coming back. Um, that could be the type of team, if they could find the answer at quarterback, I mean, they, they'll have a shot to be in the mix. A lot of wiggle. Wow. And Tavares Kelly with a 27-yard return. You know, you, you, you've got to keep that in mind. And, but I, but I do, I, I agree with you that um, the way, what he's, the job he's done here has been phenomenal. He's done it his way. Big run for Hollins. Dragging tacklers inside the 15. I mean, you, you look at him, he's 5'9", 200 pounds from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Breaking through tackles, those wimpy arm tackles that aren't going to drag him back down with his determination. Little pitch to Kemp, and he is mauled behind the line of scrimmage. How many people you let down when you weren't the Ahmad Brooks they thought you were? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That was a nice tackle there. Brandon Speaking Armstrong of tackles, taken down by Watkins. That's what Brooks did well. Birthdays. His birthday is March 14th, 1984, and I'm March 13th, 1980. It is bizarre, and I'm, I'm sorry to let down all the Virginia fans. I, I'm not that guy. <laughs> Field goal is good. Virginia tax shot. Because he can't reach the gas pedal and see over the steering wheel at the same time. So what does Bronco do? He gets a stick, learns how to press the gas using the stick. That's why his coaches want to stay with him. And, and I think it's great. And he also has a, a couple sons. Thunderbird rips off a 39-yard run for William and Mary. That's a big run. We got to have a header and a healer and requires great timing, you know. Thunderbird pinballs his way inside the five to the games that was a gift from his late father, the last gift. As Thunderbird finds the end zone for William and Mary to make it 45-16. I mean, they just, they got chunk yardage in that drive. A 16-yard play, play, a 9-yard play, and then they punch one in. And, you know, the Virginia defense here with most of the backups on, on the field. Ends up making Dean's List, a junior college All-American, transfers to Tulsa, gets with Malzahn, has a record-setting season there. As Armstrong takes off and slides down to midfield. Uh, that's a phenomenal story. And, and the one thing you can't compete with with him is his hunger and desire to be successful. Well-thrown pass there on the sideline right in that window. He's probably the next guy in line. I, I doubt he leaves again for another head coaching job. Armstrong is hit. Completes the pass. 
Whoa, nice job of sitting tall in the pocket. Great concentrate. Oh, no, that knee's down. Great call. call. He's right there. You can see the official with an excellent call there, especially if Virginia can, can have convincing wins like this. He's going to have to play and close out games. Hollins powers into the end zone for his second touchdown. And Virginia over the 50-point mark for the first time since 2005. This guy's hip pocket. Brennan Armstrong taking the knowledge, but also showing the toughness, the moxie, and helps this Virginia team get in the end zone. In terms of turning the football over through the air, and uh, that's going to be a matchup that I think goes a long way in determining who could be the challenger to Virginia. Kilton Anderson throws one up, and it's caught. Brandon Battle brings it down. I, I think those two games could go a long way in determining what happens towards the latter part of the year. Some big ones. Anderson under pressure, and down he goes. Nick Grant finished him off. It's a loss of 10. Screen pass. Lester bouncing off his own guy. And Donovan Lester, the freshman from Plano, Texas, picks up 11. William and Mary next game at Colgate, or home for Colgate. Anderson rolling out. Incomplete turnover on downs. Had an opportunity to advance his coaching career, the former Virginia quarterback, as a coach now for the Tribe. Kemp for a first down and saw some big names on that list. Armstrong. Completes to the 25-yard line, Hayden Mitchell again. As well as the running back position, and Hollins looks to be a, a pretty good option. Back to Hollins, barging through the middle, and another first down for Virginia. Three and a half to go. Uh, you know, it's, it's really you, you, slim pickings after that. Hollins sets up a first and goal for Virginia. London came calling, but he'll head back to Williamsburg with an L. Six years as Virginia's head coach, Bronco Mendenhall, in season four, episode two, another win. Florida State comes to Charlottesville a week Woo. from Saturday.